Hello Aquarius, it's time for your weekly, so let's do this between today the 3rd till the 8th, which will be the following weekend. So we're going to ask what you're dealing with, any challenges, um, what you should be aware of, and also we're going to ask about your soulmate, your love interest, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you are currently in touch with them or not, how they doing, what's happening in their life that you should be aware of and how they are relating towards you. Uh, people have been writing, um, especially Aquarius people, uh, asking about love reading. So let's do this. We're going to ask about love, but if anything else shows up in the reading that you should be aware of, then we're going to talk about it. Okay, that means you're supposed to know it as well. So let's do this. Universe, please step in. Show very important messages for the sign of Aquarius. For Aquarius, highest good, please. What is coming towards Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Oops. The moon and a uh, hermit. So some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. Let me see clarification to see more detail. We like detail. Universe, please step in, show more detail. This just fell out. So it is a love reading for sure. Uh, Gemini energy lovers. Let's see. So let me see the bottom. Two of Swords. So there is no communication with your loved one currently. There could be any sign. It looks like you are a female. So this is very much feminine energy. You are thinking of your loved one, but there is no communication. There is silent treatment. And you are confused. You're wondering why. Yeah. Let me see. Let's see more detail. Then we're going to ask how they are towards you and what's going on with them. But you worry about your finances. So you got seven of pentacles twice from two different decks. So your main concern is your financial stability. Wow, you are heartbroken because of your loved one. Yeah, your energy showed up here, Aquarius. The universe is advising you to concentrate on your financial stability. Let me clarify this three of swords. Yeah, you're wondering if you should extend the olive branch to your person that you are not in touch with. But it looks like they've been checking up on you. So a lot of you are dealing with a Virgo. Hermit with King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles also means uh, Taurus and Capricorn. But um, together with um, Hermit energy in the same spread, it's a Virgo energy. So you've been checking up on this person and they've been checking up on you. Um, yeah, let's see more, more detail. What's coming up for you? Interesting. Let me see what's coming up for Aquarius that Aquarius should be aware of. Eight of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of you feel like walking away from your union, marriage, or some of you have walked away already. Eight of Cups with the Hierophant. Wow. But this person does love you. This person does love you. So some of you are thinking of somebody else and want to walk away from your current union. To be with someone else. Look at this. So 
the person that you want to walk away from uh, does love you, but they're not good at expressing their feelings. Yeah, they're not good at expressing their feelings. Yeah, you, so you really are heartbroken because for a lot of you, you are with a person that is like a robot. They're not good listeners. They're not co good communicators. You feel like you are alone in this relationship. But they do love you. They just are clueless about communication. So there's somebody else. You A lot of you are interested in somebody else that you love, that you have connection with. Strong Leo energy showed up. So, yeah, so a lot of you are missing your significant other that you are not in touch with, that you love. They are a distance from you. Yeah, look at this. Um, tower card. So it was unstable. It had to be dismantled. For those of you that are males... Uh, you, some of you are dealing with a uh, fire sign woman uh, who is immature, unstable, and it shows breakup between you two. Yeah, sh um, this person loves you though, cares for you. Yeah, Leo energy. Also, Taurus and Scorpio. Let's see some major change coming up to this. You've been waiting for this person patiently to grow up and mature. Yeah, so you've, you walked away. Wow. Let's see how they are towards you, no matter what sign or gender they are. Let's see how they are towards you. Universe, please step in, show very clear messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good, please. How is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius, relating towards Aquarius? How? What's going on with them in their life? What is going on with the soulmate of Aquarius? What's happening with them in their life that Aquarius should be aware of? So a lot of you are dealing with somebody that is a uh, earth sign. Look at this Aquarius energy showing up here. The star. Some of you are dealing with another Aquarius. Hmm. So... No matter what sign they are or gender, uh, although right now we're showing here a female, feminine energy, but could be either gender. This person has a lot of uh, guilt, uh, fears, regrets about the past. They miss you a lot. They miss you like crazy. But they have a lot of regrets, are worried where this relationship heading is heading in the future. Taurus energy. Yeah, again, nine of swords from two different decks. Seven of swords. Five of swords. So they are horrible at communication. And they're not being honest with you. Yeah, with the seven of swords here. Eight of pentacles. I'm sorry, eight of wands. Ten of cups. The tower, you see? So there was some sneaky behavior on their part that they were, they were not honest with you about some things and that is why this broke up. Seven of Cups. Yeah, so you had to walk away. <coughs> Either they walked... Yeah, look at this. So there was third-party involvement, whether you know it or not. Most of you know it. Three of Swords with the Tower and Seven of Swords and Eight of Cups. So somebody walked away from somebody because of third-party involvement. Look at this. The Queen of 
Wands is showing up again. Secrets. Yeah. Promiscuous behavior, third party involvement. This is not good energy to show up in any reading. Um, lies, deception, cheating, lying, manipulation showed up all in the same spread. Damn. Um, wow. A lot of drama showed up just now. That's very toxic. Three of Cups. Yeah, so for a lot of you, this was uh, third party. Yeah, third party involvement. Whether you're aware of it or not, or not uh, there is a person that sh keeps showing up as King of Cups that loves you, but is not expressing it to you. The Sun, Leo energy, very strong Leo energy here. Yeah, that loves you. So some of you are married or in a relationship with the Leo. Um, soulmate relationship, the lover's card. So you are soulmates from other lifetimes. Again, the star card, beautiful. Aquarius energy, Gemini energy, Leo energy, Taurus energy. All those major arcanas. A lot of disagreement and fights in the family. Yeah, a lot of disagreements for you and for them as well. Confusion, misunderstandings, not communicating effectively. That's the biggest problem in relationships is sporadic communication or silent treatment. So we're going to go into the extended read. We're going to ask their true uh, current intentions towards you and plans for you anything they may be hiding from you that the universe feels you should be aware of for your highest good at this time and of course at the very end based on the energies that show up we're going to ask advice for you from the universe and your guides on the best action to take for your highest good so click on the extended read below this video and i'll see you there thank you so much aquarius